you guys. So I wanted to do my go-to sort of everyday look. This is a look I always sort of pull from when um, I just want to look like me. I feel like this is like my signature and this is just what really flatters my skin tone and my facial structure. And I think it looks really great with all types of different styles. It's not too bold, um, it's very neutral, it's easy to do, which is the most important part. And you can get it done really quickly and effortlessly. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so to start, I've already got my primer on. I'm using the Makeup Forever. This is step one, it's the mattifying primer and it actually works really well. When I first started to use it, um, I didn't understand how like how it applied. It wasn't really smooth, but it really does help to control oil. And yeah, so also I have my brows on. I just used my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just the dip brow and I use a mixture of soft brown and dark brown just to fill in my brows. And then for primer on my eyelids, I've used, okay, so <laughs> everything's sort of rubbed off already. But um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. It's really good and yes, yeah, so let's get right into it. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use my Trusty Dusty. And this is MAC Saddle. Um, you can see I've hit pan already because it's my favorite. And it is literally the shadow that I go to on a daily basis. So I'm just gonna pack this on up to the crease, actually higher than the crease. I kind of want my whole eye <laughs> to be covered in this. And then I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush. This one's actually really dirty, um, but it's an e.l.f. I don't know what this is called. It's an e.l.f. crease brush, but it is, I don't know what it's called anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna use that just to buff the edges of that out. And then for my brow bone, it's gonna help me to sort of blend and uh, elevate my brow. So I'm gonna take a mixture of this cream colored shadow and um, this goldy peachy looking shade for my brow bone. But I'm taking um, a mixture of the two and that's gonna go on my brow bone. And it's just gonna give me a little bit of a lift and it's gonna help to just blend down that color a little bit. Okay, so you should have something sort of similar to this. And then what I'm gonna do is take a liner. So I actually wanna try out, this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Matic. It's a black shadow, um, but I'm gonna use this as a liner and smudge it out. So I'm gonna take this close to my lash base. Yeah, I'm gonna take an angled brush. This is the Bare Minerals Soft Focus Liner Brush. And I'm gonna use that just to blend that in to my lash line. So once I get that down, I'm gonna take, this is MAC Embark Shadow. It's a really nice warm brown. And I'm gonna take that angled brush again, and I'm gonna go over that black. So it's gonna help to soften and smudge it and smoke it out a, just a bit makes it less black and less harsh. All right, so now that I'm kind of done with the eyes, I'm gonna go right back to them, but I'm gonna go on with the skin. So yeah, I've been really into dewy, fresh looking skin um, without it being too matte. Like I use the mattifying primer so that my natural oil doesn't like, you know, make me look like a grease ball, but I kind of still like the dew in the areas where I want it. So I'm gravitating back to my NARS. This is my NARS Sheer Glow, and I'm using Barcelona, which is kind of light for right now. So I mix it with my Borghese, and this is Cafe. The NARS Sheer Glow isn't so sheer, but it does give your skin a really nice sort of radiance, and so does the Borghese foundation. So I like mixing them together because it gives me a really great natural looking finish. So for today, I'm going to use my MUA Professional. This is like a really nice, fake, fluffy, blending, buffing brush. I'm going to use that for my foundation because it buffs it in without giving you any streaks. So is anyone going to Gem Beauty NYC? 
Um, it's our first time hosting there, so I am super excited because I get to be a part of it. Um, I went to the one in LA, as you guys know, and it was balls. so I'm sure it's gonna be even crazier in New York because, you know, those are my peeps, so <sighs> New York is gonna come through, I'm sure. So for concealer, I'm using Pro Longwear. This is from MAC, and this is in the shade NW25. So I actually like the cooler toned shade for underneath my eye, and I'm only using this just to brighten right here in this inner corner area. I'm not taking the concealer all over my whole face. It's not that type of party today. So I'm taking a damp blue, Beauty, <laughs> damp beauty <ba> blender. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Damp beauty blender sponge, and I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'm going back to New York so quickly. I literally just got to LA. I feel like now I'm flying back out again. But to be honest, I really like flying on airplanes. It excites me so. <laughs> Like I said, I've really been into dewy, fresh looking skin. So I'm gonna use a lot of cream products and then layer some powder on top. So I'm using my NARS Multiple. This is in South Beach. It's a really pretty bronzy, pinky, goldy. Actually, no, I'm lying. It's just bronze, it's just bronze. <laughs> so I'm taking that really high up on the cheekbone and I'm smothering that on. And then I'm gonna take uh, Real Techniques, it's an expert face brush, face brush, and I'm just tapping that in. It's gonna give me a little color, a little glow, and then I can layer my highlight on top of that. So before I do all that, I'm gonna also take another cream product, and this is the Trustique Contour Stick, and I'm just taking that right in here. So I'm not going all the way up to the ear, just taking that underneath the cheekbone. And I'm taking a Real Techniques, it's the contour brush, just to buff that in. And then I can take my little beauty blender just to soften that line. So I'm taking another cream product and this is from Makeup Forever. This is the Blush Cream Second Skin in 315. It's really pretty coral pinky shade. I take this on the cheek region, like so, and then take a beauty blender sponge to buff away any edges. And the cream just gives your skin a really nice luminescence. For under the eye, I am going to set with my Ooh, smoke cloud. This is my Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder. Yes, and this is in Universal. I take the smallest amount of this or else I get that white hazy cast. So I take that underneath my eye just to set and I find that this is pretty much the only thing that really sets my under eye so it doesn't crease. Everything else sort of starts to melt away during the day. So I like to use this setting powder to set just in the areas where I get a little oily. Not too much powder. Like I said, we still wanna look nice and fresh. And then I'm taking my favorite bronzer. This is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Give Me Sun. Just gives me a really nice warmth to my skin. Just sort of layering that where I added that contour color on top of my blush, just in the general cheek area. And it, you can see it just helps to intensify the color on my face. Yeah, so this is optional, but you can take a little bit of your bronzer just down the sides of your nose if you want a little bit more definition. So I take it from in the little hollow here and I wiggle it and just take it down. Not too much. Like I said, we want to stay pretty natural with this. So for my highlight, I'm going to use the same color that I used for my brow bone. I'm using this really iridescent color right here. It's like a peachy goldy shade. And then we're going to go ahead and just dust that on top of the cheekbones. 
So that way it kind of marries in that area with what we already did. And then I'm gonna take with my ring finger, just at the tip of my nose. And we'll take that in the inner corner of the eye. So before I do mascara and my lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to get everything blended and mashed together. But I really like how it makes everything look flawless. It just blends everything together. And I really like this mascara wand because it has a little ball at the tip. So you can really get each individual little lash. So now that my mascara has set, I'm using one of my favorite lashes. This is from Blue Ribbon, and these are the Chloe lashes. Yes, they're the Chloe, whoa. whoa. <laughs> and these are the Chloe lashes. Um, they're actually reusable up to, I think, like 25 times. So yeah, I love these. I like, they're amazing. Right on. Okay, so now that my lashes are done, we're going to finish with the lips. So you guys know I love my nudie brownie shades, and yeah, MAC Taupe is my all-time fave, but I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of that. So I've really, really been loving this NYX Whipped Lip Color. This is in Cocoa Bean, and it's gorgeous. So we're gonna take a little bit of that. It's, I think it's a lip and cheek shade. Yeah, it's a lip and cheek souffle. So I'm gonna put that on my lips. It's like the perfect nude for my skin tone. And I love the finish. Not too matte, not too shiny. This is just a really easy look for me. And that is it. This is the face. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know down in the comments below who is going to Gen Beauty NYC. And also let me know if you want hair dates because I can give those to you in a separate video. So yeah, until next time guys, bye. Oh my God, I haven't ended my video like that in so long. That's my normal ending. Yes. <laughs>